What is going on guys? It is your boy Icy and today we're gonna be playing some free for all on Mercy. Hope you guys are all doing well, man. As always, um almost 3 a.m. here. Not gonna lie, I'm a little tired, but um I'm really trying to get more videos out for you guys, man. Um I'm a little lazy, a little uh you know, not really in the mood to play gears, I'll be honest with you. And uh so that's kind of why like I haven't really um not to mention, obviously, you know, the girlfriend moving in and everything, that whole situation. So um, I've been very busy, but I definitely have had some free time and I just have chose uh, to give myself a little bit of a breather from this game. Uh, which is why fights like this right here are close nowadays for me. Uh, typically, I would be extremely confident in that fight but just haven't really been uh playing too good because i haven't really been playing the game so like damn we're not even hurt what are the odds huh what are the odds i just get this nice I don't have Torbo. Like, and then you just up A me. Well played, brother. Well played. I'm actually convinced that in Gears 5, the dumbest Gears of, like, Gears players or Gears of War players, whatever you guys want to say, man. Like, I actually am convinced that, like, the dumbest players exist in this game. Like, compared to any other Gears game. Seriously. I, I truly believe that. I'm not even kidding. Should turn. Oh, he's not gonna turn. He's just gonna keep going. But I'll take it as long as I get the kill. This guy's over here. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Gear Six and uh, not really like get crazy into it, but just some things that I'm actually kind of predicting for it. Um, I haven't really done like a prediction video for Gear Six, and I think I will, just not in this one. But just for like. Um, you know, for what it's worth kind of thing. I'm going to throw out some things that I am predicting about the game. Um, in terms of, like, gameplay and stuff, I would be very surprised if it was, like, super different than Gears 4 and 5, which is a little bit unfortunate, obviously. <laughs> a, little, uh, a little unfortunate um, just because, obviously, you know, those two games were not the greatest. Um, Gears 5 being probably the worst Gears game um, ever made. But, um, you know, that's not really what we're talking about. My point is, is I actually would be surprised if Gear 6 wasn't at least similar to these type of games. Um, and I will say this as well. Like, just because I'm not a huge fan of Gears 5 doesn't mean that it doesn't have potential to be good. Like, there are things that I think could make this game a lot better um which means it obviously has potential to be good um but i just think time and time again um whether it's the you know ignorant pro players or the ignorant uh you know people who make the decisions at the coalition in the past um they just don't create like this game to be you know kind of what it's supposed to be and what it's supposed to be is not really an opinion um it's not like a oh man the, that flash kind of messed me up okay everybody just throwing flashes at me nice brother like good play that's the second time you're just running around wall bouncing at me and dying for it let me get that Ooh, I'll take that. Oh my God, I'm fighting back. Back against my, back against the wall right now. Um, man, I don't even really know what I was saying. Um, basically, like, hold on, guys, I'm fucking going insane right now. Like, my bad. I, I I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. Um. Anyways, like, basically, I just think that this game could do, like, could have some like minor tweaks and stuff. 
and some major tweaks not gonna lie um and it would be a lot better than what it is and what it has been over the years um i think a lot of things have to do with the fact that the game is so old um i mean this game is basically five years old and when a game is that old pretty much everybody is going to be very good at it which is why i think a lot of people including myself uh you know struggle um when they you know just hop on the game and don't really play too much um it is definitely a game now compared to what it used to be where you have to kind of you know play the game in order to be like really consistent in it um and that's one thing that I found, especially recently with like making these videos after, you know, taking long breaks and stuff, because uh, I'll be honest with you guys, man, I've taken quite a few breaks in my life over the course of, you know, my gears career and stuff. And I have really never struggled like crazy um, with just coming back and stuff. And obviously like the control scheme, thumbs, everything is definitely part of it. But um I will say just in general, like players are just a lot better now at this particular game uh, than they used to be in other games. And a big reason for that is just that the game is not good. The skill gap is just not high enough. And, you know, you can be very mediocre and still do very good in this game. And that's just the reality of it. So, <clears throat> um, in terms of Gear 6, though, man, like I, I really do think Obviously, there's probably going to be, like, air canceling and stuff, like, wall bouncing. And I will say that I think there should be. I'm not one of those people who, like, doesn't think wall bouncing should exist. I just think, like, for an example, what that guy just did should not be possible. Like, I don't think you should be able to, you know, bounce in those type of motions and shit. And, like, be able to be an aggressor at the same time. I completely disagree with that because it takes away from you know what gears of war is which is essentially a cover based shooter um but it's more than that man it's also a game where you you know in the past would have to use like skill or at least a strategic type of play style um to dominate instead of just brute forcing your way in brainlessly and you know trying to get lucky timing and lucky angles and you know hoping somebody shoots early you know what i mean like when you're sliding at people and stuff and i just think that that's not gears of war um, it really makes this game feel a little bit soulless and it makes it difficult man to play for a long long period of time man especially for somebody like me who has been playing for so long and i'm i'm sure many of you guys feel the same way so um, i'm really hoping gear 6 doesn't you know play exactly like this game um because i think if it does um you're gonna see the exact same thing happen um with gears 5 happen with gear 6 um, it's going to die out very quickly, and it's going to be stale, and eventually, you know, they're going to fire a bunch of people that work at the Coalition, and it's just not going to be good for anybody, um, which now that all this time has passed, I am pretty thankful that they are taking as long as they are to make the game. Um, I just hope that that's not only for campaign and other, you know, um, non-PVP game modes. And, you know, I just hope that it's, like, something that actually is worth taking time for. Um, you know, and I just have a feeling that it could just be for campaign and graphics and things like that. So, um, I really am hoping that it's for more than that. And I also, at the same time, you know, I understand that with how Gears 5 has been and Gears 4 included, like, they do need to kind of switch it up a little bit. Um you know, in order to make this game more appealing to people because it's not appealing to people that are outside of the Gears community. That's why the game is where it is. Um, but I also don't want them to completely change it at the same time. You know, I don't want them to completely ruin Gears of War and just make it a completely different game. Um, and like by making it first person or something crazy like that, which was allegedly a rumor, like a April Fool's joke or whatever, um, that's exactly what that would do. It would, it would probably ruin the game. Um, another prediction that I have is uh, probably a different game mode um, in terms of like being like the main game mode. So like right now, if you play Gears 5, like your main game mode is probably control, maybe free for all. Um, I would definitely 
not be surprised if there was some sort of, you know, different game mode that kind of led the charge in terms of population and stuff. Um, Gears 4 being Escalation, of course. I just think that those game modes are a little bit flawed and they don't, it's not that they don't work. It's just that they're not uh, that great, to be honest. They're extremely repetitive and they're hard to, I guess, like have fun with, um, you know, I guess that's going to be the case after five years, but to be honest, Control's not even five years old and it's not very fun in my opinion. Um, my favorite game mode, to be honest, is free for all. And that's just because I'm actually fighting people and not getting Lancer 24 seven, which I know you guys feel the same way, um, you know, about the whole Lancers and stuff, or at least a lot of you guys. Um, oh, I missed. Uh, but yeah, I, I really think that uh, in order for the game to be, you know, successful and stuff, there needs to be a game mode um, that actually, you know, is appealing to people outside of the community and within the community, of course. Also, um, you know, it depends on how they would do it and stuff. Um, and I know this is going to be a little controversial. I don't want this to be the main game mode at all. But I wouldn't mind some sort of BR related game mode. Like, even if it's like, you know... I don't know, man, like 20 people or something. You know, it doesn't have to be crazy. Like, it doesn't have to be insane. But I really would not mind it um, if that was the case. And I definitely would love to see Wingman, um, you know, be back. But this isn't really, like, a what I want to see. Um, I've already kind of done that. It's more so of my predictions. Um, what else, man? Off the top of my head... Um, it's just hard for me to think that, you know, the coalition is going to recognize their flaws um, with zero pride and actually make the changes and stuff. And I'm not even trying to shit on them because a lot of the people that are making Gear 6 um, were not um, in the, you know, Gears 5 room. A lot of people in Gears 5 uh, that made the game were, was actually let off. Um, you know let go or they ended up fucking you know going somewhere else but i just am hoping that people realize what's truly wrong with this game and what we need and i know that's kind of like the million dollar question is like what would make gears better what would make gears more popular but it's really not that difficult man um you don't have to dig too deep you need to make the game fun you need to make the game consistent. You need to make the game make sense. Um, you know, you have to have a ranking system. You have to have game modes that people like. You have to have, you know, a good way to customize, you know, your character and your skins and stuff without spending a million dollars. Um, you know, and it just... There needs to be a skill gap, man. Um, you need to give people a reason to get on every day and try to be better. Uh, because believe it or not, man, like for even like the casual players, you know, they want to get better at the game just at their own at their own pace. Um, you know, and that's important, bro. Like that's really important because in this game, you're you're really kind of forced to play a certain way. And if that's the case in the next game, again, I think it's going to go down the exact same path that the recent years games, including this one, have gone. And that would obviously suck to see, man, considering how much we've been waiting and, you know, how passionate we all are about the game. Uh, you know, we really hope that that doesn't happen, but we'll see. Um, there's no need to be, like, negative or, you know, pessimistic or anything. We literally have zero, zero news on the game. Um, but I am predicting that this summer we're going to get something, even if it's something small. Um, I'm definitely predicting that we're going to get something. And it's kind of been, you know, hinting towards this, um, you know, with the whole Netflix announcement and, you know, things like that. I feel like we've been kind of, you know, leaning this direction where, like, you know, we're getting closer, right? Like, this summer is going to be the time. Um, and so, you know, hopefully it is. If it's not, I would be very surprised. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm very confident, man. Like... I wouldn't say that otherwise. 
Um, I wouldn't like lead you guys on, but I am extremely confident that we're going to get something. Um, I just don't know what it's going to be. And I don't know like how big it's going to be. Um, but I, I would be very surprised if we didn't get something. So, Ooh, that was a nice shot. Oh my God. Man, I've been talking so much this video, like, I'm, man, I'm talking a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just off the top of my head, you know, I don't really, I don't really want to like make this a big thing. Um, it's just, you know, some things that I was thinking about earlier today, and I decided, you know, during this video, I'll talk about it. Um, there was something else, to be honest with you. So when I remember it, I will let you guys know. But uh, for right now, let's see if I can win this game. Not dead. And then I down him through a cover. All right, 22, 22. Come on. This is a map where it's like very hectic. So one of us could just go on like a little streak and the game would pretty much be over. Nice. That's good uh, target switching right there by me. I don't know where my shot went when I hopped up. I tried to time it. I guess I didn't do it right. Oh, going for a back A on this guy. Got him. Oh, he held a shot. Lucky for him. I think I would have got him if he did not hold his shot. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually a really good kill by me. Damn. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> That's what I mean about this game. <laughs> How dumb is that? Like, if you guys slow mo that, that's the dumbest shit in the world. I'm not even kidding. The fact that that's even possible is just crazy. This guy's screen looks so dumb. It's because he's on single stick. Probably GG's to be honest. I don't think anybody's gonna kill this guy. Oh, they got him. Oh, just get out of the corner, Daniel. Like, bro, now I definitely lose. This guy's just sitting in the corner, not moving. And he doesn't even hit his shot to down me, by the way. The game just gives it to him. So dumb. I mean, what's the point, bro? Like, yeah, dude, pro player, right? You're literally not a pro player, and you're on single stick, so it's all good, though. Regular shit. For those of you guys who are still listening, by the way, still watching, I'm actually curious. Um, you know, I always tell you guys, like, oh, leave a comment. But I'm actually, like, genuinely curious to see what you guys say here. So if you guys would, please give me a 1 to 10 rating. And you can use decimals, by the way. 1 to 10 rating on how good the Gears 5 campaign was, in your opinion. I'm not even kidding. If I had to give it a God honest rating, I would give it like a 3.5. It was terrible, in my opinion. I actually hated it. Um, and I'm a big nerd about the campaign and stuff. Like, I love playing campaign. I actually genuinely enjoyed the lore and, you know, the whole story and everything. And I was... I was a little upset, man, with with this campaign and, um, you know, how it all went down. I'm not going to, like, spoil it. I know it's five years into the game. doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I, I just can't do it, man. Um, I actually hated it, like, genuinely. I really disliked it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. All right. This is the bounce back game. Let's see if we can get this win. <clears throat> A little free for on Harper. I actually kind of enjoyed this map, so I'm going to focus up a little bit more than I did last game. I just have been talking quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, let's see if I can get this win. 
Well, two out of three would be nice. Nice. Just bounced completely away and still died. That's cool. Like people argue with me sometimes, man, about like the aggressor having the advantage or not. And I promise you, being the aggressor is definitely the advantage in this game. Like if you're if you have good movement and if you know how to shoot while wall bouncing, you definitely have the advantage. <laughs> Hundred percent. I don't care what anybody says. Like the fact that I even have to like back bounce here, like right here, is the problem with this game. Like, the fact that I have to create space when I'm behind a cover shooting somebody who's who's in the wide open pushing me is exactly what I mean about this game not being a cover-based shooter anymore. It really does feel soulless, I promise. Like, in my opinion, it, this game has no soul at all. It's just a... It's like an arcade game. A lot of you guys know who Explosives is, Gilbert. Um... You know, my teammate in Optic, he he uh, said it himself. That's where, actually where I got that from. Uh, this, this game feels like an arcade game. Like, it's just not a Gears of War game at all. And I 100% agree, and I know exactly what he's talking about. Damn. That was weird what he did. He, like, bounced wide and didn't even shoot. But he didn't stand there either. He like bounced and then bounced again. Like he didn't bounce wide and hold his shot. He bounced, held his shot, bounced again. Uh, that was weird. I don't know what he was doing. I'm going to die to a random drop shot. <laughs> nice shot, brother. Good shit, man. I will say this as well about, you know, Gear 6 and stuff or whatever the next game is. Um, even if it's a remaster and stuff, I am, like, genuinely looking forward to creating content and stuff uh, for it. Um, a lot of, like, the last few years making videos and stuff has been a struggle, as you guys know. And, by the way, that right there is what I'm talking about, about the aggressor having an advantage. Um... It's been a struggle, man. Like, it's a struggle to constantly play the same maps all the time, the same game modes against the same people and stuff, literally all the time. Um, find things to talk about when there's no news, there's no, you know, thing. there's nothing going on, you know, just regular shit every day. You know, it's tough, man. It's straight passion. That's all it is. And, uh, you know, it's going to make my job and my life and everything so much easier when I actually have, you know, new stuff to talk about, new stuff to play. You know, it's not so repetitive. Everybody's more excited about the game, you know. I'm genuinely excited about that. <clears throat> um, this is the first Gears game out of all of them that I've been excited about making content for rather than like competing and playing professionally you know so it's different man um it's different and i really look forward to it i look forward to seeing you know how much myself of course but also the community can grow um you know based off of how good the game is so can't wait man i really am Super excited to get something, you know, some news, some anything. We desperately need it. Wait, you're just going to keep running? Okay, and now I'm getting 2v1. What the fuck just happened, bro? How is this guy 17 and 6? This is the guy who drop shot me across the map.
and then I die. <laughs> Bro, this game is hilarious. This game is genuinely hilarious. Like, it doesn't even make sense. The shit that happens in this game. Makes no sense. Fuck it, bro. Like, fuck it, man. I'm getting fucking held at the end of this ramp. Every time I go here, bro. Like, is just nobody gonna shoot these guys in the back? Like, let's try it, man. See if I can do this. I'm just gonna sit here. Like, I know I'm getting shot in the back. There's no way I'm not. I'm just gonna sit here, bro. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a break. Yep. Back in position. I actually should flank this. Oh, man. I'm not sure I, that I'm going to win this one, guys. Oh, well. Today's video is not really about, you know, going crazy anyways, but... I do like to win, regardless. So maybe I can pull this out. We'll see. Doubtful, though. No stun on that guy, huh? Okay. Cool. He probably put his head in the fucking wall. Out of here, bro. Oh, yeah, do it. I'll take that. That's not a bad spawn, to be honest. Right, this is drop shot over here on my left. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, love that. No, I hit the wall. Fuck. I hit the wall instead of him. That's not good. I'm dead. I have the other guy down me too. Uh, if either of them get a kill, it's over. Definitely GG's here. Yeah. Got flanked by the other kid. That sucks. Alright, GG's. Fuck it. Um, hope you guys are still enjoying the videos, man. Um, next video, I'll try to lock in again and try to go off. But today, I was just wanted to talk about some things I was thinking about, just brainstorming and stuff. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys are all doing well. Love you guys, man. Really do. Thanks so much for the support. Leave a like, uh, leave a comment, hit that sub button, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.